Hello, James Hickey here, ST Entrepreneur and a full-time internet marketing guy here in San Diego, California. And I'm going to talk to you today about how to trick out your uh, Facebook profile. I'm probably going to do this in two parts because it could take uh, way too long. So let me just get right into it. Uh, we're going to go right here. If you do, This is kind of one of my clients, Windermere Pacific, a real estate company. What you want, if you don't know how to find your fan page after you created it, you want to click Home and then go over here to ads and pages and then we'll click on this button right here San Diego real estate uh, that'll take you there I'm actually yeah I'll go there first and then I want to show you right here it's a, a button that I've added called search homes with all these images so let me just go back to the wall here we're gonna edit this page and then what you want to do is you want to go down here to applications and find this application called um, FBML. So it's Facebook's terms for HTML, but they've called it Facebook Markup Language. You want to get this get this uh, this um, application right here, and you can get that from more applications. Just browse put in FBML and it will come up. So then what you do need is an image. So what, what I've got is I've got these images downloaded to my desktop right here for Windermere. You go to Photo Bucket, you upload the videos to Photo Bucket, I mean the images to Photo Bucket. There'll be a share button. You want to go in here, get the link code from and then you'll copy this code right here. It says HTML for websites and blogs. And then what you'll do is uh, go to this application, hit edit. This is the search homes. When you're in here, you can change the box title. I changed to search homes. Then you paste the code that's right here. You paste this in to, um, to Facebook. So there's four different images that you saw before. So there's four different codes. And then if you, if you don't do this, it's just going to go right to Photo Bucket. So right here where these parentheses start, you put the website that you want it to go to be, between the parentheses. And you, this is the, the where I want it to go, to this blue area that I've highlighted here. So when you click on that image now, it's like a banner ad. It takes you to these websites that I have listed in here. So after you're done you hit save changes and then we can go back and look at the page and there it is right up the top now that's great if you're going across but wouldn't you want it to maybe be so when people are looking at the page they see it right away so what you want what you can do is we can move it over to the side over here and the way you do that is through boxes so you click on this thing called boxes and then it shows what boxes you have in here. Links is in here, and then there's search homes. So what you want to do is click on here, and then move to wall tab. Click on that, and then voila. There it is, right built into the page. So now, when people go to this page, and you can put anything there. You just need to get an image, have a website to send it to, and then create this, turn this into a banner ad. You're going to search a home off this page. It takes you right to the client's page. I'm going to show you one other, that, but we have to log out of this account and go to, um, to one of my, to my personal account, my fan page. So let this log out here. Okay, bear with me a second. So we're going to click home. We're going to go to uh, pages. Oops, pages. And right here, James Hickey, SD Entrepreneur. I've got almost 1,300 fans. Let's just click on the page first. And then this is a really cool one that I've added. Uh, one thing you can do if you're not my fan already, you're going to get a welcome page. And it'll say click, become a fan, click on this button. The button will be up here because I'm a fan of myself already. 
It's already here. So you can get a custom welcome page. This is what people will see before they even get to your fan page. And then, this is a really good one right here, YouTube. And what you can do is add your YouTube channel um, uh, and drag in videos from YouTube. So I've got three videos in here. What is the best in, a, in an education company? Twitter followers. You've got to do them one by one. So you can't, you can bring every video on YouTube over here or you could just grab some of your favorite ones and then drop them in here. But then you can run YouTube right off of your Facebook account. And then if I wanted to move that over to the wall, I could go to boxes here and then click on this or move any yeah, either one of these and uh, let's see if I can do that. Yeah, we'll move this to the wall tab. And then we'll take a look at it. And there's uh, a couple videos that I got built in right here, and and then you also got your YouTube across the top. Um, let me see. There's one other thing to show you on this. Uh, well, that's actually on the fan pages. One thing I do suggest you doing is go to edit your page, and then go to wall settings, and change this to posts by posts by page and fans because your other choice is just only post by page you want to interact with your fans so if you just have this one this is the default one by Facebook change it to post post by page and fans and then what will happen is everyone can um, see your page another one you can do and then I'll wrap it up on this will be part one is network blogs let's just kinda go in here and peek at that can get that through the applications down the bottom. So I am subscribed to one, two, three, four, five, six blogs. These two blogs, every time there's a there's a blog post, it automatically gets feeded right to my page. So that's actually my blog, and this is another one. Um, I had Mashable on there, but uh, I had that marked, but they were posting like 10 or 15 posts per day so it was a little too much and I was overwhelming people so uh, if you want to just find some uh, go to network blogs find some information blogs that you like um, set them up on automatic feed so they'll post to your page anyways and then you can provide your fans with information that is interesting to you and and to the people that are, you're fans of so that is a quick breakdown of part one of how to trick out your Facebook account that's it for now and wait uh, one more thing. If you want to learn internet marketing at an expert level, be trained uh, by me personally, put your name and email address in here and hit submit and then I will be able to contact you and we can talk about getting you uh, on track and getting a career with internet marketing and learning to be an internet marketer like myself and uh, you know, quit your job. So that's all for now. Take care.